The purpose of this film is to demonstrate advantages of a telescopic handler against a regular 4x4 tractor with a front end loader, and the practical considerations necessary when forming your lifting plan. As both types of vehicle are manufactured with a variety of sizes and capacities, this film assumes both vehicles are mechanically sound and have the capacity to lift at least the determined weight of the casualty animal. Key limitations of the front end loader are the height of a possible lift and the inability to extend the load away from the vehicle. In this film you can see that the machine has no problem in physically lifting the casualty, but let's consider the planning that needs to preempt a lift. Firstly, the ground should be assessed for structural integrity. The weight of the animal may impact the ability for the vehicle to manoeuvre once elevated, particularly in muddy conditions. Secondly, if picking up from a swimming pool, ditch or riverbank side for instance, the ground must be able to support the weight of the vehicle and casualty animal without subsiding. Next, a thorough assessment of the required lift height should be undertaken. Consider the distance from the attachment point of the spine of the animal and then the physical size of the casualty animal. Some systems have the ability to shorten the rigging chains to account for limited headroom or tall animals. In this film you can see that there is insufficient lift to clear the obstacle. Note also the lifting arc when using the static loader arm. At maximum lift the animal will be at its closest point. This becomes a particular issue for the next stage. If the casualty animal is being driven to a place of safety before being lowered, when traversing an incline forwards the casualty moves even closer to the vehicle body and moving parts. If there is an opportunity for the casualty to move at this point, then it is even more likely to become injured through striking the vehicle and the operator has limited ability to counter this. In this situation, it may be preferable to travel backwards up a slope to allow a load to move away from the vehicle as long as sufficient ground clearance can be maintained. Let's now compare the same lift scenario using a telehandler. This model is a mid-range example capable of lifting 400 kilograms at its maximum reach of 9 meters and has a maximum payload of 3.6 tons. The first thing to observe is that its telescopic reach has a number of benefits. The vehicle can park on hard standing well away from weak banks or pit walls. This provides a clearer scene and being further away might be less stimulating for the casualty animal. Manoeuvring the spreader bar into place is well controlled and good visibility maintained throughout. Minor adjustments can be made in positioning due to the ability of the telehandler to apply four wheel steering or crab steering. The regular tractor does not have this capability, relying on front wheel steering only. The dual role of also holding the quick release line is possible in this instance. There is a clear line of sight between operator and banks person. This is then passed to another operator who will take over for the release due to the environment depicted in the scenario. The ability to telescope in and lower the casualty simultaneously provides for a controlled manoeuvre without having to drive backwards in the vehicle. At this point the casualty can be carried to a place of release. Note that for safety purposes the casualty is facing an open area. The handler is in position to release the anti-spill straps and the option to quick release is available for emergencies. The casualty is carried to a place of safety and traversing slopes is aided by the ability to extend the lift keeping the load away from the vehicle at all times. A safe system of work can be greatly enhanced by utilising a telescopic handler over a front end loader, providing it has sufficient reach and capacity. The key points are the vehicle can be positioned further away, improving visibility and adapting to unstable or weak ground around the rescue site. The casualty will often be lifted and withdrawn without needing to drive the vehicle. Typically a telehandler will have improved lifting height capacity and be able to keep the casualty away from the body of the machine through its telescopic ability. Multi-directional steerage allows the machine more flexibility in tight spaces. Many fire and rescue services have telescopic handling capabilities. Those who operate these machines frequently and know their environment will bring a wealth of knowledge and skills to the rescue. If a telehandler is not available, a front end loader with the right lifting capacity, competent operator and additional control measures to make up for its limitations might present greater benefits than risks. 
Even if a front end loader might not have the lift or height capacity required, it may present a useful mechanical advantage in situations where a combination lift and skid is indicated.